What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Primetime Sports Podcast with Joey Maylari. Uh, so tonight, I'm just going to do a quick episode to uh, recap what happened in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals on Friday night um, and give my prediction for tonight's Game 6 showdown in Tampa Bay. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have another episode out to talk about the College uh, Baseball World Series, which actually just ended today. Uh, Ole Miss actually ended up winning. Uh, so congratulations to them. I'm going to break down uh, what happened in the tournament, uh, how Ole Miss went on their run, hopefully tomorrow. Then I'm going to talk about some happenings in the MLB with the Red Sox, uh, the LA Angels. I know they've been a topic for me uh, just because I like Shohei Otani and Mike Trout a ton. Um, I'll talk about uh, some other happenings uh, with the Yankees. I'll break down some stats for the Red Sox as well about how they've been playing over the last month. Uh, the Sox have been very hot. Um, actually just swept the Cleveland Guardians who were first in the uh, AL Central going into this weekend. Um, now we're two games back of the Twins, uh, thankfully because the Red Sox uh, beat them in uh, all three games. Um, but anyways, then I'll probably talk about uh, some other headlines in the NFL, uh, like Rob Gronkowski retiring, Ryan Fitzpatrick retiring. Uh, so uh, anyways, to start off tonight's uh, episode, uh, the sports guru and I gave our predictions uh, for Friday night's Game 5 um, of the Stanley Cup Finals, um, which was a few days ago. I said it was Friday in my last episode. Um, and I had the Lightning actually winning that game 4-2 to my prediction. He had the Avs winning 4-1. Uh, to one. Uh, It actually ended up being, being a very close game. Uh, so both of us had it being a two-goal or a three-goal game. Uh, Tampa Bay actually ended up winning 3-2, to two, so very close, as I said. Um, Andre Vasilevsky was excellent in that, like I predicted. I feel like the thing with Vasilevsky is he always shows up in the big moments. Um, and as you've seen, I mean, the Lightning winning two straight years now, you know, being back in the cup, uh, you know, finals uh, for another contention, for another another chance at a third cup uh, for a three-peat. He's a big reason they're back for a third straight year, and he was excellent um, back there. Um, and I had a feeling Tampa Bay, after they lost game four in a controversial call, and whichever way you saw it, whether you thought it was controversial or not, um, I felt like the way they lost that, and losing that way at home is never easy, especially in the Stanley Cup Finals. I felt like with their backs against the wall that the Tampa Bay Lightning would not only respond but play their best hockey. Um, and, and look what happened. I mean, they did that. They went into Colorado, got the job done, extended the series, went from 3-1 to one of the series, now 3-2. to two. Um, And if they win tonight, I mean, uh, which I'm going to give my predictions in a few, but I think if they win tonight, I think they, they're going to win the Cup. I think they win in Game 7 in Colorado. So, anyways, in Game 5... Um, Vasilevsky saved 35 and 37 shots faced, uh, 94.6 uh, save percentage, which is great. Um, and then Jan Ruda, uh, got the scoring going for Tampa Bay in the first period, um, had his third career playoff goal, um, in 48 playoff contests. Um, and this was a huge one, obviously, to get, uh, Tampa Bay the lead 1-0 in an elimination game. Absolute nip top shelf, uh, Quite a play by him. And I think the craziest part of it was I saw an ESPN statistic uh, that the last time he scored in the playoffs uh, was in the 2021 Stanley Cup Finals, Game 3 of it, actually. Um, so he didn't score at all this whole playoff run for Tampa Bay. Uh, but the one he did score, huge one in Game 5 to get them going. Of course, Colorado ends up responding. Um, and then Nikita Kucherov uh, gives Tampa Bay the lead back, makes it 2-1. to one. Um, and The Avs, of course, respond with another goal. Very resilient team. Uh, this one being from Kale McCarr, uh, former UMass Mid Minuteman, defenseman, um, his eighth goal of the playoffs, uh, 231 into the third period. So very back and forth game. Um, and then the clutch, Andre Pilat, uh, with seven minutes to go in the third period, scored his third, uh, scored his 11th goal of the 2022 playoffs, um, ended up being the game winning goal. Um, and as I said, Andre Pilat has been clutch, uh, the whole playoff run for Tampa Bay. And Mike Curley said that. He said all the goals Pilat scores are big goals in big moments. And as you saw, that was a huge goal uh, to extend the series and make it 3-2. to two. Um, Makar has been playing well uh, this series. Had two points um, in, in Game 5, a goal and an assist. Um, and if you look at him overall in the series, he has... Three goals and four assists, so seven points in five games, uh, which is really good. Um, an average time at ice, 27-35. So he plays a ton, uh, almost half the game, especially for a guy so young. Um, I guess it's not as surprising, but he doesn't tire himself out. He plays a ton. Um, and if you look at it, Dazi Kemper did not have his best game. Um, 26 saves and 29 shots faced, an 89.7% save percentage. Um, not his best game. Vasilevsky played very well. I uh, had a 94.6% save percentage, as I said. Uh, but neither goalie's been playing 
as well as they both know they can play. They're not playing elite either one of them, really. Vasilevsky has a 90.1% save percentage in the series. Um, then Kemp is at 89.9% um, in the series. So they're both around 90%, um, you know, give or take two tenths um, uh, of a save. Uh, but I think the thing is with them uh, is that whoever has the harder game tonight, I think their team wins it, obviously. Um, I want Tampa Bay to win because I have Tampa Bay winning in six. Um, so I'd like the series to be extended a little, make it, you know, game seven, make things more interesting. But whoever starts hot um, is, is what I meant to say. A second, whoever starts hot, I think, uh, will give their team the edge and, and, and they'll win the game. Um, I truly believe that Tampa, if Tampa Bay wins tonight, uh, I think they will win game seven in Colorado. I know I just said that a few minutes ago. In my opinion, I think this is kind of game seven for Colorado. And it, and it is an elimination game in my eyes for them as long as obviously, you know, as as well as it is for Tampa Bay. Uh, but I think this is an elimination game for Colorado as I see it, uh, because having a three to one lead, and if they were to lose tonight, and Tampa Bay made it three to three, I think it'll be very hard for them to respond in game seven. I feel like they could be deflated, even though, you know, game seven would be in Colorado. Um, but anyway, some things teams, both teams need tonight to win. Uh, I think Tampa Bay needs Kucherov to get hot. Um, he's got a goal and three assists uh, for four points in the Stanley Cup Finals. And that Stamkos as well, he's kind of been quiet. Uh, one goal, two assists uh, with three points um, total in the Stanley Cup Finals. He's got to get going, get hot. Um, they definitely need uh, both of those guys. And then Andre Vasilevsky, he needs to have a really good game, similar to what he had in Game 5 for Colorado to win. Uh, excuse me, for Tampa Bay to win tonight. Um, then if you look at the other side, Dusty Kemper, if, if, if Colorado's going to win tonight, they're going to need him to stop, you know, 35, 36, 35, 37 shots faced probably somewhere around there. Similar to what Vasilevsky did in game, uh, in game five, he stopped 35, 37. You give up two goals, but you allow your chance to, you allow your team to still have a chance to win. Uh, and I think that's what they'll need tonight, uh, from Kemper and Nett. Um, and other guys, I think if Colorado wants to win, I think they need more scoring from Nate McKinnon. Nate McKinnon needs to score more. If they were to choke a 3-1 to one lead, I think it will reflect on his play. Obviously, you know, they have a lot of good players uh, on the Avalanche. So it wouldn't just be his fault. But, I mean, he's the superstar of the team, you know, the, the most marketable player. I think he needs to have um, the biggest game. Um, he's got... One goal, three assists, four points um, in the Stanley Cup Finals. If he has a goal tonight, I mean, it could do it. It could, it could give them the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, in, in, they'll be hosting the trophy um, and won't have to go back to Colorado for Game 7. If they go back for Game 7, I think Tampa Bay wins this. If if they blow a 3-1 to lead and make it 3-3, three to three, I think Tampa Bay has Game 7 on lock, um, which I'd come back on again tomorrow um, anyways. Either way, no matter who wins, I'm going to break down uh, what happened to tonight's game. Uh, but anyways, uh, neither goalie is playing their top-notch hockey right now, as I said. Neither one has been playing elite. So whatever goalie starts hot tonight and gets hot, um, I think we'll give their team the edge and they'll win. So let's say Vasilevsky you know, gives up two goals or Kemper gives up two goals in the first period. I'll take the other team, uh, whatever team scored the two goals, uh, to win that game. So I think whoever stays, whoever gets hot will stay hot um, and, and give their team the edge. So my prediction, uh, my final prediction, I'm going to give Tampa Bay the edge tonight. I think they went 4-3. to three. Um, I know my prediction last game was 4-2. to two, ended up being 3-2 to two Tampa Bay. Um, so I'll let a goal each way um, and make this a, or I guess a goal just to Colorado, uh, and make this a 4-3 to three, uh, game. Um, but I'm very interested to see uh, which team starts out hot tonight. I think if Tampa Bay has, if Tampa Bay wants to win tonight, they have to start out hot. Um, and I think Stamkos and Kucherov, they both have to get things going uh, for Tampa Bay. And I think Stamkos, more than any, only having one goal and two assists um, so far in the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, then if you look at Colorado side, McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon has to get going. One goal, three assists. So four points isn't bad, obviously, in six ga- in five games, that is. But um, in six games, uh, if they were to win tonight, you'd hopefully uh, see a goal out of him if you're a Colorado fan. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for listening uh, to this quick episode. I'll be back on again tomorrow night uh, to break down things, as I said, with the Red Sox. Uh, other happenings within the MLB, Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, the Yankees. I'll even talk about the Baltimore Orioles. They've been playing very well as of late. I'll talk about the College World Series, uh, give my NBA draft recap. It'll be another action-packed episode, and I'll talk about uh, what happened in Game 6 um, of the Stanley Cup Finals. Tonight's game, obviously a big one. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. hope you guys had a great weekend. Thank you, as always. I appreciate it. Have a good one.